About two weeks ago, budget-friendly earbud maker Soundpeats sent over these guys for me to review. Now, Soundpeats has a habit of sending me earbuds that I may or may not even want to review, and sometimes they come through the house. I use them for a bit. I don't really have anything much to say about them, so I don't really say much about them. However, these, the Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pros, are ones that I definitely do have some things to say about. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the Amazon listing here. The price is not on there yet. It just says it's unavailable because it hasn't actually launched at the time of me recording this, but it should be launched while you're seeing it. They're going to retail for $69.99, but they're supposed to have a discount making them be $48.99 at launch. Okay, there may be like a coupon code down there. I think I should have a coupon code in the description down below, and there's probably a coupon. If you scroll down, there's probably going to be a coupon down here as well to make them be less than $50. Okay, so this is a very budget-friendly set of earbuds under $50. They do support LDAC, LDAC, whatever you want to call it, is a high-res audio codec, so that is a good thing to have. They have active noise cancellation as well. They have a pass-through mode, so these are, which that's a feature. Those features have kind of proliferated out into cheaper buds as it is. That's not crazy. Battery life is solid. Eight hours of playtime on a bud is good. 52 hours in the charging case is pretty good as well. We're going to look at this case compared to some other earbud cases to kind of compare size. We do have 12 millimeter drivers, which aren't the biggest, you know, in the world, but they are bigger than what are in Samsung's Galaxy Buds 2 Pros. Now, of course, driver size isn't the end all be all. There's a lot more to it in terms of tuning and so forth, but a 12 millimeter driver is a good place to start. There is an application that we will look at here in a little bit as well, which allows you to customize an equalizer and do some nice things like that. And of course, there is a game mode, all that good stuff as well. So on paper, these things sound pretty good, but how do they sound? In real life, that's going to be the big question. And first, let's jump over to the overhead camera here, and we'll take a look at these buds. I do think that aesthetically, they look pretty decent. I like this case. It doesn't show fingerprints or anything like that. It's 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 kind of a shiny, glossy matte, if that makes any sense at all. So it doesn't show fingerprints at all. It's not super slippery. On the back side, you can see the Soundpeats logo kind of in this bronze or copper color. Uh, logo back here on the back on the hinge USB-C and again there's like a little rim around that as well that's the same color so a couple of nice touches oops there's an LED on the front that's going to show if it's charging or not which is also a nice thing to have if we open it up there you can see that it is uh, lit up there because it is open and here we have the buds themselves if we pull one of them out we have that same color across the back of the butt itself, which is again, a nice little touch. It's there on this little grill up there at the very top of the butt. Overall, I do think that it's a fairly decent looking earbud. And of course it is, you know, your, your AirPod style earbud with the stem and it is touch sensitive as well. This does not have in-ear detection, which is a bit of a pain, but for a $50 set of buds, not that big of a deal. The bigger thing is going to be how do these things sound? How does that ANC perform? I do want to quickly compare it though in size to some other earbud cases that you may have, have seen or held. We have the Link Buds here, the Galaxy Buds, two Pros here, and then these Buds here. So it is definitely a bit of a chonky case. It's a little bit on the large side, but it's not crazy. The shape of it makes it fairly pocketable. I should also point out that these do not support wireless charging. It's that C cable or nothing. Let's take a quick minute and look at the application here running on my S23 Ultra. This is the Soundpeats app. You pair the earbuds, open up the app. This is what you're going to see. They do have an option up here to do a firmware upgrade. If those do get pushed out, that is very useful. They have a little shop page down here to look at you know, the different earbuds that they're coming out with. And then they have this little icon down here, which puts you into a control area where they have a series of presets for their equalizer, which is not wanting to open up for me for some reason. It's not always the best app in the world. Let's try that again. Capsule 3 Pro. There we go. This looks more correct. So now we have our volume control. You can change between your noise reduction modes, ANC, normal, transparent, toggle on game mode, disable touch key, one click functionality. And then like I was saying, here are your presets for your equalizer. And then you can have your own 
custom equalizer, change things to whatever you want it to be, whatever sounds the best to you. When I did my sound testing, I started things off with the Sound Pete's Classic, but then quickly moved to the equalizer, the custom equalizer, and tuned things to where they sounded the best to me. This is how all of this is going to work, right? I did the same thing. I tested them against my Buds 2 Pro, which again, is tuned to my preference. And that's, unfortunately, as good as I can do on a review of earbuds. I cannot tell you what earbuds will sound best to you. I can only tell you how they sound to me. And when I did that testing, I did use, uh, I wrote down notes basically for three different songs going back and forth. I had two phones with one with the Buds 2 Pros, one with the Capsule 3s, and I would go, but two pros, and I'd listen, and I'd type some things, and I'd take those out, put the other ones in, and I would listen, and I'd type some things. That's how I'm basically going about this in the most scientific way that I can. So the Buds 2 Pros on the first song by Dire Straits, Money for Nothing. Great song, phenomenal intro, great guitar tone. With the Buds 2 Pros, you've got that typical Buds 2 Pros, very punchy sound, very crisp reverb almost a hiss in that high end which i've never been able to totally get rid of it's probably my biggest problem with those buds there's so much detail in the high end in particular that it almost gets to a hiss level with the capsule threes it was slightly less punchy but that hiss was not quite as as strong maybe and overall they sounded very very good out of the gate i was immediately very impressed with these things i do need to like really quickly before i continue this I, there's something I have forgotten to mention, and I, I absolutely have to mention it before we go any further. When you're on your phone with these, make sure that you go in and that you have turned LDAC on, high quality audio in use, okay? If you don't do that, you won't get the benefit of that higher quality codec. I know that sounds crazy, but if you don't turn something on, you can't use it. So then we moved on to a song by Katie Tunstall, Black Horse and the Cherry Tree, an acoustic song with some very light percussion. And I don't know why these are the songs I picked. They just are the ones that popped into my head for some reason. The Buds 2 Pro still were the punchier set of earbuds, okay? They're very, very crisp and clear and punchy. Very, very clear sound. With the Capsule 3s, the sound was very balanced. The percussion was very audible, not super overbearing. Very decently wide sound stage, right? The Buds 2 Pros for me tend to have a bit of a wider sound stage, but these are not terrible, okay? They're not quite as wide but they sound very, very good. What about Runaround by Blues Traveler? More detail on the high end, once again on the Buds 2 Pros, more energetic sound. It's a very energetic and crisp sound. I don't know any better words to explain this to you. With the capsules, they do feel a little bit less energetic, a little bit less alive, if that makes any sense to you, but still quite detailed and balanced. I'd almost put them in a similar range to the Sony Link Buds. They're not quite as good as the Link Buds, but they kind of have a similar overall tonal quality to me to the Link Bud S that I have here in my hand that I've reviewed on this channel. They don't sound as good as the Buds 2 Pros, and they're not quite as good as the Link Buds S, but they're $50. These are $150. These are even more than that for $50. The sound quality on these things is absolutely fantastic. Future Shane has to step in here and record this bit because I forgot to do it while I was recording this video earlier. This, right now, what you're hearing will be the audio from the microphones on the Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pros. So if you want to know what this thing's going to sound like in a phone call, this is the closest approximation to that that I can give you. Now, I will say that the ANC and pass-through mode on these aren't nearly in the same category as the ones by Sony, the ones from Samsung, okay? When you're in a crowded room, you know, a bunch of people talking, they're going to dampen it a bit. But unlike Sony and Samsung, they're just not going to do as much to really block out these noises, okay? They're just not nearly as strong. The pass-through mode is pretty decent on all three of them. Really nothing to report home about there on that. Really just that the ANC is not nearly as strong. One other note is that there is a voice that talks to you when you go through these modes. It'll make a, a kind of a chime and then they'll say pass through mode. This voice is a little bit louder than I would like. It takes a little bit longer than I would like. There's a lot of reverb on it. It's slightly unpleasant, but a lot of these cheaper buds kind of have this sort of thing going on. I'd rather it just be a little chime. They don't need to tell me. I'm going to be able to tell if it's on A and C or pass through when I suddenly can't hear things as well or I can hear things better. I'm going to know what mode that it's in based on that alone. 
I did find the controls overall to be decent enough. I'm not going to go over what all of them are, but there are a lot of controls. Okay, things like single taps for all, for all, things like single taps for volume, you know, up and down, double taps for play pause. You're holding for a certain amount of times. It's honestly a lot to remember, and I wish you could customize the controls in the app, but that's not something that they allow you to do. So you have to learn the ones you're going to use. And then just go with it. I tend to use a, a, a smartwatch and just kind of control things on there as much as I can. But again, the controls aren't terrible. I also want to mention that these do not suffer from one of the problems that a lot of prior Soundpeats earbuds have had for me, which is just being preposterously hard to get out of the case. These actually are very, very easy to pull out of the case. I like that a lot. I, I'm one of these people that has, you know, when it's a set of earbuds that are really difficult to get out, that is a big problem for me. I want to be able to get them out of the case and into my ear with some ease. And some of these prior buds from Soundpeats did not do a good job with that. These do much, much better. I think overall, guys, if I'm going to wrap this up for less than $50, these are some really, really strong earbuds. The sound quality is very good. Are there some shortcomings here with ANC, with the app, some of the customization? Absolutely, there are. But for $50, are you going to love the way that these things sound? Are you going to probably like the way that they look as well? Yeah, probably. So, guys, I'm going to drop a link in the description down below. If it's to Amazon, it's probably going to be an affiliate link. There should be a coupon code down there as well to use. Be sure you use the coupon on the Amazon page as well to get the full discount on these earbuds. Big shout out to Soundpeach for continuing to just send me cool earbuds to test out. Guys, if you're new here, subscribe so that you don't miss out on more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.